Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO Star Wars Carbon Freezing Chamber. This is set number 75137, 231 pieces, three minifigures, kind of four, because you've got Han Solo and Carbonite, but you have regular Han Solo, Ugnaught, and Boba Fett. And of course this is from the scene in The Empire Strikes Back where... The, uh, the bounty hunter is freezing him to deliver him to Jabba the Hutt because Han Solo has some unpaid debt. So let's go ahead and move the camera down, open this up, see what we have in here. Relatively small set, a little over 200 elements in this set. So it should be somewhat simple build. We have a single instruction book. It's kind of a rolled up a little bit. So I'm reverse rolling it so it'll lay flat on the table. It's close enough. We have a bag one and we have a bag number two. And I've noticed lately they've been putting a stripe down the middle of some of these bag ones. Not quite sure what that indicates. Two small bags of elements. All right. So we got minifigures first. First one is Ugnaught. He has a custom molded kind of a bobblehead looking head. It's way way bigger than your standard Lego minifigure size head. See here's a here's a standard Lego head next to that big thing. It's almost the size of Darth Vader with his mask on. Either way, it's, it's a cool mold. It's got some nice printing on the eyes. Got some little marks on the head. And he's got the bald head with the hair around the side. So, cool little figure. That's the only figure in bag one. So, it just leaves us with building all the parts for bag one and then move on to bag two that has the other figures in it. Starting off with some plates. Okay, let's see here. This one goes here, and then this one goes here. A brick. Two tiles. Two of these A-frame shaped plates. The orange 2x2 two two plate. A couple Technic bricks. We're going to attach one of these U-joints on, and then a Technic piece, along with two half bushings. So there's one, here's two. And then I'm going to give it a little bit of wiggle room. That's kind of what you do with Technic pieces. 
And let's see, where's that other? There's the Technic brick. This piece will slide in here. It's just kind of in there for now. We'll connect some stuff to it in a minute. So we've got Five long yellow axle that we will attach to the side of the joint along with another half bushing. This pushed all the way in to where it's hitting the blue tiles. We will then put a half bushing and then all these little rounded pieces. So you can see it goes in and out and it turns no matter which way that that's facing. there. Create a little box with some Technic bricks. Put a tile on the top. Two friction pins. So the yellow piece slides in there. This attaches there. Gonna push that all the way in. Okay. Let's stop playing with it. Let's build it first and then we'll figure out what it does. All right. So we have this little turntable piece that will slide onto that yellow axle, it's exposed. And uh, pull it, you could turn it, but then when it's pushed up, I guess you could still turn it a little bit. I've got four one by one bricks. and a 1x6 brick. some plates on the bottom. We have a hinged plate. Just 
simply building a little wall here. Nothing too complicated. Add some black arched bricks. orange studs. Put one of these A-frame pieces there. Move this to the side. We have a little sub-build to do. It's seemingly just some randomness. Piece goes there. pieces. Oh, looks like it was still in the bag. And it fell out and hit the floor whenever I threw the bag on the floor. Alright, so this will go right here. This little guy goes right there. I guess that's a little control room. Put a panel there. stable. Not quite sure why they have why they have this on here already and there's nothing supporting it yet. Okay, so looks like these are gonna be our little support elements. Now we're going to 
our next little support piece. Some trans orange tiles on it. And this one will go right here. of holds it together. And on this side we have some modified tile and studs around it. Seems to have made it a lot more sturdy. Took a while, but now it's all coming together a little bit better. It's interesting, this thing only opens up slightly. Alright, so that's it for bag number one. We are now going to move on to the second and final bag right now. Okay, so we have all the elements dumped out and we're going to move on to our last minifigures of the set. First one is Boba Fett. And this one is a decent version of him. Does have Cape. And it's the kind of a polyester plastic style cape. It's not the cloth versions. The cloth, the cloth ones um, seem to flow a lot better. This one is not one of those. So that goes like that. Bobo Fett does have a face underneath the mask and a little antenna on the side of his mask for communicating. Along with a blaster. So there's that minifigure. Nice printing on the legs and torso. Of course the helmet looks nice as well. Alright, so our next figure is Han Solo. He has a double printed face. You've got the open-eyed, kind of worried face. And then you have the closed-eyed, like he's asleep. That closed-eyed face, that's the face he made when he got frozen in the carbonite. And there's the little frozen piece. This looks to be the exact same piece that was in the Jabba's palace. You can see, you can actually put the minifigure in there. He has little clips right there and there that he can grab onto with the arms and the minifigure actually fits right into that little molded piece and then you can kind of push up from the, the legs and pull them out. Alright, so that's it with the minifigures. Bring the model back over. There doesn't seem to be too many parts left in this portion of the build. We actually got quite a bit of it built already in the first bag. So we'll just continue on with this and see how far we'll, or see how quickly we can get it built. Another couple of 
Technic pieces on this portion of the build. Like we have another little crank type piece. Okay, it looks like we're building an elevator. Transport. You can see you fold that over and that's what holds it up. And then you roll it back over and it goes down. Pretty cool. Next is a little control panel. Has a printed tile on it. Now it looks like we're going to build some stairs leading up to one of the platforms. This piece will go right here. using two of these pre-molded staircase pieces to create a double wide staircase. Now we have five trans orange tiles. orange tiles. Basically go all the way down both sides of the staircase. Alright, this attaches to that bar. Now we're going to build our little freezing chamber element. This piece goes here. That really completes it. So they're showing, showing, looks like some of the play features and the instructions. They're showing this piece going up and down. Show the elevator, which I already kind of figured out. And then they show this piece. 
So the way they show it in the instructions is, um, oops, let me zoom out a bit. So they show Han Solo like this, and then you pull the, the piece out, rotate it around, and then push it back up, and he comes up frozen in the carbonite. Now we, it's not, not really hiding it from view. It's not like we don't see the little optical illusion, but you kind of get the idea. Maybe if it was more like a straight on look and he, well, even then he still doesn't disappear. You can kind of still see the, the rotating action going on. You kind of get the idea. I mean, it's, it's a toy. There's supposed to be some imagination involved, but that more or less completes the build of it. It's it's kind of small. It's not a big, quote, freezing chamber, but it does have the, the play features needed to kind of make it a fun little set. You do get three minifigures plus a Han Solo Frozen Carbonite, kind of a panel, and uh, yeah, it's a little half chamber. So thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. You know the routine. We'll see you tomorrow.